Thank you so very much. We're joined once again with uh, Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Wajardo uh, discussing last time it was the Big Bang celebration, but yes. right now a lot of people are paying attention to what's going on in the Caribbean as uh, Hurricane Barrel works its way into the Gulf. Uh, right. When it comes to your position, what are you looking at? What are you paying attention to when it comes to keeping all of us safe here at home? We work very, very closely with our emergency operations center and mm -hmm. the team, our fire department, police department, city manager, of course, um, but they're watching and of course the National Weather Service. So we're, we're have daily briefings to, to make certain we know exactly where, you know, the best we can know about where it's going. I was going to say it's interesting for you to be in here this early because you get a chance to visit with Carly. I know you were right. talking with her. What are you looking, listening for from her? Um, how does that alter the plans that you and the team make when it comes to keeping us safe? Well, it's super important and she did, she had a great report because it's ever changing. Mm -hmm. And so by the hour, if you will. And so, um, you know, the, the different models that she uses, and those are the ones that, right, we all rely upon to at least know the different avenues in which it can go. It gives us some sort of forecast. So it's so, so important that we listen in on, on her forecast and of course the National Weather Service, yeah. all of us as a team. But it's important because it allows us to know, um, you know, see it in different levels. Mm -hmm. We're at level one. And so we're really just keeping an eye. We're making sure we're, we're staying in close contact with the National Weather Service. Um, and then that is going to allow us to implement and start rolling out what plans we need to do to do. You were here during Hurricane Harvey. What lessons have you learned from that and that you want to make sure are included when it comes to these discussions? Communication is number one. Mm -hmm. Communication with our public and making certain that um, they're informed with, you know, good resources in, in the right ways uh, because it's important what uh, reliable sources that you depend upon to get your information and of course you know we want to always make sure that people have a plan when you look back at some of the things that that should make us stronger and, and experiences we've learned from as a city which we absolutely have that makes us more resilient we have to learn from them and think about again the communication about making certain that everyone has a plan and it's even more important right now because you have and it's interesting the timing of the storm should it make its way here uh, all these extra visitors coming in to celebrate the 4th of July and especially on the weekend they want to go out to the beaches right. and we're to deal with coastal flooding with the storm surge or anything like that right and that that makes it a very dangerous time to be you know in the waters at mm -hmm. the beach and so we are going to have a lot of um, uh, Police patrol. Mm -hmm. We have 200 police officers that are scheduled to be across the city throughout the whole weekend. Uh, about 80 of them, uh, I believe it's 80 of them, uh, beach patrol. Mm -hmm. And so we're keeping our beach operations, you know, on alert. But we're a coastal city, and yeah. we are very. Our protocol is strong. Our teams know exactly what to do, when to do them, mm -hmm. and how to implement all of that. Most importantly, is keeping in touch with our residents. That's right. And we get a lot of your information. We put it out on air for y'all. Um, and I know I get your emails uh, from the city daily updates on when y'all are meeting and when y'all are discussing and, and what people need to know moving forward. Mayor, thank you for coming in. Thank you for visiting with us. And as always, we're open. Carly's open to visiting with you uh, whenever you have a question regarding weather. Thank so I mean, you. you got a, a personal hotline to that. Uh, the information right now on your screen uh, has to do with downloading our app. If you do not have that resource available, should power go out wherever you are any time of this year, uh, especially hurricane season, it's a chance for you to customize those push notifications, see what the city's doing to keep us safe, sandbag distribution, things right. like that. Uh, Barbie, we're going to send it back to you, but Mayor, thank you so very much. Good thank luck you. to you.